Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if it's not your first time here, thanks for coming back. So today I have yet another haul for you guys. And this one is from Windsor. So Windsor is a store that I have seen all over Instagram. A lot of influencers wear their clothing and I've always been intrigued. And I actually noticed that they had a Windsor store in the mall that's quote, close to me. It's like an hour away, but I don't really live in a town that has a mall. So I happened to be going to that mall. And so I popped in and I checked out what they had and I found some really good gems and some not so good stuff as well. As always, a mix of things. <laughs> I wanna show you what I've got today. And if you aren't already subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and give this a like if you like it. Everything I mentioned, I will put in the description box below as well as my sizing information. So if you have any questions, refer to the description box. Okay, it was interesting. Upon going in the store, I definitely noticed that it is definitely more of a juniors style store. So very reminiscent of Forever 21. So a lot of the sizing of the things that I got are very strange. <laughs> We're gonna start off with the dresses first. So the first dress that I got is this bodycon white dress. And it's got a little bit of interest, a little bit of something different because it has this cutout on the side. So first of all, I will say the quality of this dress is very good. It is definitely higher quality than Forever 21. Like it's actually a pretty thick dress. I don't feel like it's see-through. So that's really nice. I like that. And I just love the little cutout, which is very on trend right now, cutouts. So one thing I didn't really like about this was the sizing was a bit weird. So I got a size large and I'm typically, honestly, between a small and a medium most of the time. So I definitely would say that you wanna size up with this one. Although it fit like in my body, the armholes were quite big. I wear a 34C for a bra size, so I was really surprised at how much it was gapping under the arms. I think this would be super cute if you are a bride-to-be and you wanna wear something like for your bachelorette or you could even make this casual if you're going like shopping with your bridesmaids or something like that. I, I think it's a really cute like bride-to-be type of situation. But for me, I don't love the fit, unfortunately. And in the try-on, you're gonna see I wore shapewear underneath it because I felt like you could see the lines of my underwear when I wore underwear, so just be aware of that too. Okay, so this next dress, when I walked in the store, I was like, oh my God, it screams the movie Clueless for me. This plaid dress, oh my goodness, it's so, so cute. I just love the print. It's like a houndstooth print, but it's got the green, which I'm loving green this season. And it's got a little bit of a slit in the front, just very like schoolgirl, but like sexy schoolgirl, you know? You know what I mean? I paired this with a, like a cropped cardigan. Again, I just thought it was going with the whole theme. Oh, I thought very cute, very cute. Um, I did get a size large, so again, you have to size up for this. There is a little bit of stretch, but not a whole lot. So just be mindful of that. The straps are adjustable, which is nice. And overall, it's just a very like trendy piece. Do I think this is gonna be in style for years to come? Absolutely not. But I think it's fun for the theme. I also really like the fact, again, <laughs> I think because it's a junior's store, all of the dresses were quite short which I like because I am a little bit on the shorter side. And if you've been here before, you know how much I complain about, I cannot find a dress that hits me mid thigh. And all of these dresses, the length on them were like so perfect, but I think it's because it's a junior's brand and everything runs short for junior's brands. So if you're tall, I don't know if these are gonna really work out for you, but just again, keep that in mind. Okay, and this dress was my favorite dress of the three. I definitely think I have a wedding coming up. I think I am gonna wear this to the wedding because it's just so cute. So it's this florally, like almost like watermelon pink color. Oh, guys, it's so cute. 
It's got basically an open back to it with a crisscross strap, which are adjustable, which is really nice. I feel secure enough that I actually could go braless, which for me, I rarely do. I rarely, rarely do. But I think it covered me enough and I don't know, I just felt like it was a really good fit on me. Now, this dress, I got in a size small and I feel like it's actually roomy. Like, I feel like I, if they had an extra small, I probably could have even gone to an extra small. So with this one, I would say, if you're in between sizes, go down a size or otherwise just get your normal size. Really, really like this. It's very spring, very, very cute. And it's girly, but it's a little bit sexy. You know, like I don't feel like a child in this dress, <laughs> which is great. All right, so now I'm gonna talk about some tops that I picked up. So I picked up this very, very cute, very almost like boho style. It's an open knit sweater and it's got the flared sleeve to it. Just very beachy, very easy. In the try on, I paired it with a pair of denim shorts and just a pair of Birkenstock sandals, which I think is like very fitting with the boho hippie type of theme but you could wear this with a pair of linen pants, I think would be very, very summer. You could even throw this on over a swimsuit. I think it would be perfect just because it is so open knit. I did wear a long line bralette underneath it that was the same color as my skin tone. So you almost can't really see anything underneath it, but I think just like a bikini top under this would be so cute too. So I did get a size medium in this and I like it. I actually probably would have gotten a small, but I don't think they had any smalls at the store just because the length of the sleeves on me were quite long and I would have preferred this to be slightly more cropped, but not the end of the world. I actually like it as it is as well. So really, really love this top. All right, and this next top is my favorite top of the ones I bought, this cropped sweater. So it's definitely like a sweater like cashmere. It's not really cashmere, but it's kind of meaning to impersonate a cashmere sweater. <laughs> I absolutely love how light this is. So I can definitely wear this in the springtime. I live in Florida, so it's warm, but I can definitely wear this. It's not so heavy that it's gonna overheat me. And I love the back. So it's open in the back and it has these ties. So you tie the back. I think it's so, again, like, girly with the pink, but a little bit of a sexy twist to it. So just, I love it. I love the color, very spring, very neutral. It's very, very up my alley, very cute. I did get a size small in this and I think it fits perfect. So I would say stay to your true size on this one. All right, the next top that I got is this, again, like boho, very flowy, top with the open sleeves and it has this like kind of antique rose print all over it. It's got an elastic neck and kind of like a gathered elastic bottom. I did size up to a large on this one just because I didn't want it to be very cropped. I wanted it to hit like where my high-waisted jeans would come up to and so I think if you want that you would want to size up. If you want it cropped just stay with your normal size. Again, just an easy top to throw on with a pair of jeans or a pair of shorts. Very, very easy to make it work. And I think that you could even make this workwear appropriate if you wore a pair of slacks. Because again, if you wore high, a high-waisted bottom, this would not be a crop on you. So I think it's very, just love these kind of peasanty floral type of tops for spring. All right, and then I'm going to share what I'm wearing right now. So I bought this tube top from Windsor and I love having these in my wardrobe just as staples that you can really just throw on and mix and match underneath things. You could put, you know, drape different shirts on top and I'm wearing them with these flared black pants. Now I did get these at Windsor, the pants, but I got them like three years ago, two years ago. So I don't think they probably have them in stock, but I'm sure they have something similar, which I will link below. But I love an all black moment. If you have been here before, you know that. 
And I just think it's a great blank canvas that you can put in the try on. I put on like a flowy, just black top. So it's all black. You could put a flannel over this. You could add a pop of color, put on a, like a leather jacket, a, a denim jacket, any kind of top you can put over this and it works. Um, or you could even just wear it as it is. And it looks very like almost like a jumpsuit, you know, and just throw on a lot of jewelry to accessorize it. I think it's just classic, chic, but sexy. So I love it. I got the top in a size large once again. So uh, the large fits me absolutely perfect. I would not size down. I would size up. It's very soft, like super soft, really, really good quality. And the pants, I got a size small. Okay, and then I have to share a fail with you guys. One eternity later. So I have these high-waisted trousers and they're very, very, very long. <laughs> and they're like flare leg, flared or like wide leg trousers. Now I tried to try these on for the try on. Tried to try these on for the try on. Wow. And there was just no way I was going to show it to the internet. It was just inappropriate, <laughs> completely see-through. These pants are completely see-through. No matter what undergarments I put underneath it, I really don't recommend these pants at all. Maybe if they were in a different color, but I just think the material is very unforgiving. And I got my normal size, I got a medium actually. So I did size up to a medium and I just, they just do not. It's definitely a no for me, darling. All right, you guys, and that's it for this Windsor haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment down below letting me know what piece was your favorite. And I would love to hear from you guys in the comments. And if you aren't already subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. I upload videos weekly. And also give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It lets me know that you want me to do more hauls. And I really appreciate all of you that are watching. And if you stuck around to the end, thank you. <laughs> All right, I will see you guys next time. Bye.